Welcome back to Penguin Hell, everybody! Special. Anyway, let's talk to our fellow prinnies again. I heard the ingredients don't really matter for the ultra dessert, dude. Just find whatever you can in each stage and toss it in. That sounds pretty lazy, dude. So the ingredients don't matter, dude? Then remind me why we're putting our lives on the line for this? Demons are pretty free-spirited, huh? You got it, dude! I hear different demons show up in certain areas depending on the time. Huh. I'd say Master Retina's pretty free-spirited too, dude! Uh, yeah, uh, I think that's called being selfish, dude. Dude, we messed up real bad this time! I had no idea Etna heard us talking about the Ultra Dessert! I knew we shouldn't have mentioned it right in front of her room, dude! So you did this to me?! Wait, so does that mean you took her? Not a chance, dude! I don't even like sweet stuff! But I did see a shadow running from the fridge! It was a pretty for sure! I like to think there's a big fridge full of food for the whole fortress. Master Edna! We just can't do this, dude! I see your beak moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. I guess my only option is to run away, dude. I'm sure you realize this, but... Running off isn't an option. I'll be on you like stink on a pig. Even if it costs your pathetic little life, I want an ultra dessert. I hope that's just your idea of a joke, dude. Well, let's grab the torn letter. There is one torn letter between every stage, and the path to get there becomes harder every time. Though it's still pretty easy right now. Also, from now on, instead of going to the data manager to see what's written on it, I'm just going to put it in a subtitle, like this. Alright, let's get going. The thread this time voted for High Tome Forest. Now one thing I really like about this game is the music. This game has a great soundtrack, and this track in particular is probably my favorite in the entire game. Which is why I am going to shut up for a while and just let you listen to it. Besides, this level is pretty easy, there isn't much to say about it. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> 
into that? I don't think I was paying attention. Yeah, I get hit a few times. I, you know, these... I'm playing on standard here. These are the easy stage and I'm not... I'm taking it easy, alright? A real pest. A cat? No, sorry, dude. Useless runt. Two, two demon twins? And they're looking pretty pissed, dude. Who needs some goofy, no nothing, pretty poking around, right, Chi? Prepare to die. So Kim and Chi both have two attacks. They will either attack with their magic swords, or they will throw a magic spell. But honestly, the most dangerous thing about them is the fact that they jump around all the time. Aside from that, they're not really difficult. Uh, just take your time, find the openings, and... What? Come on, that, that was... She was stunned! I call bullshit on this one. But anyway, yeah, they're not really hard, just... Wait for an opening to stun them and attack. Pretty simple. Draw. Now. Phew. I guess I'm safe, dude! Now, before we tackle the hard version of that level, let's see what would have happened if we came here a couple hours later. To rescue me. <laughs> Dude? Oh, you don't have to be coy with me. How could my beloved possibly forget his one true love's face? <laughs> Why are you avoiding me? This is how we show our love, remember? <sighs> And Ease is even easier than the twins, really. Those three skulls she has here are not a problem. She barely attacks you, actually. She usually summons a slow explosive zombie, and sometimes she tries to chop you in half with that big axe, but that's pretty much it. Uh, if 
you really have to try to get hit by her. Look at that, I beat her even faster than the twins. Yeah, I died a few times on that stage. I wasn't trying very hard. Let's do the hard version of that stage. Now, Magma Hideout was pretty much the climax of difficulty for the 6 first stage of the game, so none of the other hard stages are gonna be as hard, but there's still a couple of things you have to be careful for. One of them is those metal corn guys. They're really annoying and they're everywhere. They will always try to jump at you. And they're a pain in the ass to deal with. Because you can't kill them. You can bounce on them, but the the problem is that if your timing is off, you're gonna get hit regardless. Now there's a lucky doll down there, and it is bullshit. See that? Good luck getting this one without dying. The trick is to go on the doll's platform and stand at the very edge of it. Then when you pound it, when you pound the ground, it will come out without hitting you. That little drill card controlled by that little cat kid is really annoying because it will always try to get you and if it can't get you it will burrow in the ground and come back up under your feet without any warning. I think it's a little glitch too because once it reappeared on top of me while I was in the air and I think it's a glitch, I mean it looks like a glitch, it makes no sense but I'm not sure. I wouldn't be surprised if this was actually intentional. I still have a video of that happening. I could show you if you want. You might also notice that when you spin, or when you slide, the Prinny is uh, blue for a few seconds. When the Prinny glows blue, he's invincible. And it's actually very useful if you want to speedrun this game. I should do it much more. I don't do it quite enough because I usually forget I have this move. Is she... 
snoring? <sighs> Kiss me. Kiss me, my friends. My lips are bathed in poison, waiting to cleanse you. What kind of messed up dream is this, dude? Mangy. Nuisance. You two again? Would you please shut up and let a girl sleep? That's it. As of today, consider yourself evicted. Huh? Huh? You're asking for it! Ooh. I don't know what's going on, but I sense big trouble, dude! Oh boy, we're now fighting Anis and the twins. Or, or are they fighting each other and we're caught in the crossfire? I don't know. But anyway, honestly, it's not that hard. The twins still have the same easy to avoid attacks and they only have one skull. The biggest danger here is Anis. She will constantly cast that big laser where you stand. The trick with this boss is just... Um, to take your time, take it easy, don't rush, don't take any unnecessary risk, just wait for an opening on the twins and beat them up, then once that's done, taking care of an ace is quite easy. And that is what I call a perfect score. See you next time. <laughs> Pretty good, you two. Back at ya. You handled our attacks pretty well. But you won't be so lucky next time. Just you wait and see. Hold on a sec, dude! I'm the only one who got attacked just now! Well? Well, dude? Oh, man!